Welcome to Budapest, Hungary. Budapest is the city that everybody seems to love. The Hungarian capital is by no means a sacred gem. There is a reason Budapest is popular with tourists, because the city is so gorgeous. It's also rich in history, culture and natural beauty. And Budapest has so many things to do that you'll want to spend a few days exploring this dynamic city. This is Gillard Hill, holds a communist era statue, dedicated ironically to freedom. There is a port from the Habsburg era on the hill, but the main attraction is the best panoramic view all over Budapest. You feel like you are on the higher mountain due to the high view exposure and clarity. Incredible expansive views of the city. This is a definitely must to visit when in the city. It's quite a long walk and tiring going up the hill, but worth it. This is St. Matthias Church, scene of several coronation, including Charles IV in 1916, last Habsburg King. St. Matthias Church is a very beautiful church on the Buddha side. This beautiful church stands out as one of the most magical buildings in the Buddha side. An interesting church with fascinating history is set on the hill in a stunning location. The church houses the burials of Bela III of Hungary and his wife Agnes of Antioch, King of Hungary and Croatia from 1172 to 1196. This is one of the most famous landmarks in Hungary. Inside the church really warms your heart and it's so peaceful. It's, so its exterior alone are worth a visit. 
This is another piece of amazing architecture. some free time because uh, there are quite many shops, cafes around the cathedral. So at 12 o'clock we are leaving the cathedral, that area, and we are going to Buda, right? So in the second part of the city tour we are driving, we are looking around on Buda side, right? And on Buda side there is an other beautiful uh, church, a Roman Catholic church, the Matthias church, we will visit that church as well and there you are also having some free time, right? And about 4 o'clock we are coming back to Pest side because you are having dinner on Pest side and we will stop uh, in the downtown, in the city centre, very close to the restaurant where you are having dinner so before the dinner you are having again free time in the downtown, right? There are the headers three and I three things, right? So it is uh, our plan, right? Enjoy, right? The city tour. So, so now we are, you know, we are driving along a narrow street here on Pest side and we are approaching to the uh, Hero Square but next to the Hero Square there is a beautiful park as well, the city park so the very first you will see this attraction of Budapest, the Hero Square that is, by the way, part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is called Heroes Square because it is about the Hungarian heroes, by the way. On the square you will see many statues. 
statues representing the most famous kings of Hungary, leaders of different war of independences, because our history, the history of Hungary, by the way, it is quite long, so more than 1,000 years old. So you will get some information when we arrive to the square about the history of Hungary. Mm. Wow. Just some words about Hungary itself until the arrival to the square. So Budapest, it is the capital city of Hungary with the population about 2 million, right? And the population of the country, it is about 10 million. So today, Hungary, it is a small country, right? It is part of the Academy of Fine Arts, by the way. So here, in this part of the avenue, there are many museums, important institutes. On the left again, the first floor, that is the Museum of Franz Liszt. Do you know Franz Liszt? Famous composer, Hungarian musician, stayed here, lived here during his stay in Budapest. And if you look right, you can see a great corner building. Today it is Again, it is also a museum, the Museum of Terror, House of Terror. During the Second World War, it was used by the Hungarian Nazis. Unfortunately, it, the building has cellars. There, it, there were quite many tortures, executions as well. Many people were imprisoned, and it was the same during the brutal uh, during the brutal Stalinist period, during the first years of the communist regime until 1954. And there was a revolution against the communism in 1956. Uh, during that, after the revolution, unfortunately, there were also tortures in the cellars of this building. But today, it is a museum about these sad periods. Uh, about uh, of our history so but uh, yeah just some other words about this building so inside every block has courtyard covered or open air there are marble staircases right the statues by the way ionic columns uh, the, the walls are thick the apartments already huge. So, um